How many of y'all know that you basically are the sum total of all the people you hang around, all the conversations you have, all the music you listen to, all the events that you become a part of, all the thoughts that you have and all the actions? You are the sum total of all that and you are unique. So why not you, why not now as a labor of love and actually it is for you. It is all about you. How do you tell your story when you're wanting to tell all of y'all's story? Man, I did have about four or five books because I just happened to be a guy blessed beyond measure in the fact that I've had relationships for a long time. My story is all about from the time I was birthed to this very moment that there were relationships that God evidently had in store for me, which I believe were divine appointments, just like you have, because there is a God in heaven, whether you understand or not, knows every thought that you have, even can, six and a half billion people, and he knows instantly right now what you're thinking, what you have need of before you ask. He knows how you're feeling. He knows your circumstances. The pioneers are the one that people are looking for right now. We're looking for not just heroes or dead people, man. We're looking for mentors and teachers and people who are willing to stand up and be convicted for what they believe in and learn to be able to articulately tell people that so that people can follow. Everybody's got a following. And, and by the way, every one of you have a responsibility, but God's got a certain order to do that. You gotta be faithful with one before you know, he's gonna give you a couple. This book is full of brigisms. I'd rather be the captain of a rowboat than the second mate of a battleship. Do the best you can with what you have right now and quit complaining about what you don't have. Brigism, broke people sound intelligent. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't judge people. I judge uh, a tree by the fruit that it bears. I look at fruit. Man, if they hadn't produced anything, what the heck are you telling me about? But here's the deal, have you learned that? My golly, look, that's why we create a system say this is, the, this is the truth. You may not get the results you want to this degree. If it's, if it's not because of the way you're implementing, then it might be because it's an internal job. It might be a little character issue. Maybe God wants to do a little something growing in you and there's where Brig Hart's story really is. It's not about money. Success is a balance in life. Success is a balance in your family, your education, your recreation, your spiritual. And your, and your family. Listen, we're body, soul, and spirit. There, there's got to be a balance in, in, in your life. And by the way, but I've been poor and I've been broke. I've been rich. Rich is better. Does anybody want to debate me on this? A guy drew a circle on a page and, and he told me success is the progressive realization of a worthwhile goal or dream. And I'm telling you, I was so hungry to hear something other than what the world was telling me, a dream. And I'd lost my dream and I'd realized it. And he says, you'll never have success unless you can define your dream. Something that's deep-seated and emotional, something you're willing to go after, something you have passion for. And those words, to this day, I can still hear them. And then he says, you gotta be willing to work. And I knew I was willing to, but he said hard and smart. And I didn't realize what he meant was not intellect, but common sense, wisdom of God. And then he said, PMA, positive mental attitude. Here is where this industry way overdoes it. They think it's just attitude. I, I, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can. Well, you can do all things, but you can't do nothing without Christ. See, here's the deal. See, they cross the line. Oh, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. No, the Bible says, my Bible says, he's the, we're the vine, he's the branches. Apart from him, we can do nothing. Does anyone need to interpret that for you? We need to bring in 40 Philadelphia lawyers, get my pastor up here to help you to understand what God's saying is rely on me. And I can, you can have anything that, you, that I've written in here because you are a child of God. I have covenant with you. And if you adopt into me, I'll adopt into you. And you are the rich inheritor of everything that I've promised for you. Is this preaching? No! This is the way we should be talking to each other day to day. We're supposed to talk to each other in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And we don't do it anymore. Why? Because it's not politically correct. I stand before you and why will never be politically correct. Never. Never. Not gonna do it. I want people's lives changed.